everybody, Paul Benook from Recording Magazine, and I'm here at my house, not at my studio. FedEx was just here with a, a really big palette. We've got four speakers. There's two sets from Dyn Audio. These are in their new Core series, and we've got the, uh, the Core 59s, which are the big guys, the three ways, and we've also got the, uh, the Core 70s, which are the little ones. So the little speakers are going to stay here at my house, and I'm going to set them up in my home edit suite. And we're gonna take the big guys in the next couple days and set them up uh, in my studio, Moss Garden Music. So let's uh, unwrap this and see what we got. Alright, so here we are uh, outside of my studio, Moss Garden Music. I have delivered the Dyne Audio Core 59s here. I'm actually going to unbox them out here, outside, because there's a lot more room. And uh, so let's get these out of the car and uh, slice them open and see what's inside the box. Outside of the box, they're a little bit lighter than with all their packaging. You can see that you've got uh, the two different, uh, you've got the bass driver, the mid, and the um, tweeter has this uh, cool protective cover on it. That's pretty cool. This little guy is just magnetic. So you got these little magnets here, holds it right in place, protects the speaker, uh, the tweeter during, during travel, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Flipping it around, you've got an entire complement of controls on the back here, heat sink. All right, so here we are. Uh, I'm on my front porch, actually, at home with the Core Audio 7 from Dyn Audio. We're going to cut these boxes open and take a look and see what these look like. So here it is. This is the Core 7 right here, Dynaudio Core 7. You can tell it's got this cool uh, cover and guard to keep the uh, tweeter safe in transport. This one is not magnetic like the other one. Rather, these little uh, plastic uh, parts fit into the, uh, the screw holes here, and you can put them back on for transport. I do think that the uh, magnetic ones found on the Core 59 are a little cooler, but you're just gonna let them sit in a box or throw them away, so it's really not that big of a deal. But, you know, hey. All right, so we've got the back of the Dyn Audio Core 7. It's the exact same layout and controls as the Core 59. You've got analog in, digital in and digital out. You need the digital out for when you're using these as a pair. You actually have to predetermine which speaker is left and which one is right in the digital chain. You've got that control right here. You've got your uh, power mode, so you've got the on or standby. Once again, you've got the bass extension full or you've got a high pass. You've got the sound balance of bright, neutral, and dark. You've got your positioning, anechoic, desk, or soffit mounted. You've got the position where it's going to live in the room, which is free, wall, or corner. And then you've got your analog input sensitivity, which uh, goes from 0 to plus 4 to plus 18 to plus 24. And then you've got your SPL level, which is 112 dB, 100 dB, 
uh, 96 dB and 88 dB. All right, so here you have it, the Dyn Audio Core 7. This is the smaller two-way speaker in the new Core series. I'm going to take this and I'm going to burn it in and set it up in my home listening and editing suite here in my house. But for now, I'm going to take you back through the magic of video to my studio, Moss Garden Music, where we've got the Core 59 set up. So, I have the Dyn Audio Core 59s set up in my studio. Don't worry, this isn't normally where I set up my speakers. Uh, I don't put speakers in front of other speakers. But I've got these set up in here right now just for uh, 48 hours of burn-in. And then I'll have some friends come over and help me lift up all these heavy speakers, put them on stands correctly. And then I'm going to do some uh, mixing and some listening on them. And if you want to find out my impressions of them, be sure to check out the September 2019 issue of Recording Magazine, where I will have a full review. You can find out what I think and learn more about the design of the Dyn Audio Core 59s. Here we are one last time. I'm in my home editing suite and mixing room where I have the Dyn Audio Core 7 set up. You can look for a review of these coming up in a future issue of Recording Magazine. One last time, you can read my review of the Core 59 monitors in our September issue, which is out now. If you liked this rather unorthodox unboxing video, be sure to click the like button below and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for tutorials, product comparisons, and more. Stop by our website, recordingmag.com, for the best in all things recording. And while you're there, subscribe to our print publication, which is now in its 32nd year. I'll see you soon.